So what is the rule of 70? This is just a quick thing. Which I find very useful and I can't really tell you why, but I use it all the time. I have no idea if you will ever use it, but I really do use it all the time. Um, and it just says, if you want to know what the time for something to double, how do you, how do you know how long it's going to take for something to double in price? Uh, you take 70 or, the, how do you, I say double in price, but just the, 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 some, the value of something to double, so the, the value goes up by two. You take the number 70 and you divide it by the rate of change. Okay, I'm just going to show you quickly how you get that. But essentially it's saying the following for the um, people that are kind of mathsy. Uh, and you don't really need to worry too much about this. But if you've got something called X, okay, and you, it's going to grow at some rate R over some period of time T, it's going to get to some other value, call it 2x, right? So it's going to double. Okay? Um, another way of, of writing this thing would be to say, well, I can cancel the x's from both sides. And if this thing is not, is growing at a compound rate, so continuously compounded, then it would be 1 plus r, say, over m to the power uh, <laughs> to the power m t, right? In other words, this is if it's growing at 5% per year, what happens if my 5% was paid twice? So 2.5% each half a year, right? Then it's the same as growing at 5 divided by 2 over 2 periods. Okay? Again, don't worry if you don't understand it. If you do, great. What happens then is <laughs> as m goes to infinity, okay, in other words, continuous compounding, what we have here is we can rewrite this thing as 1 plus r over m to the power m over r times r t, right? Same thing. And this, as I say, for mathsy people, should look like something familiar as m turns to infinity. This is called e. Okay? So you've got e to the rt equals 2. How do we solve for that? Well, log of e, I mean, yeah, so we take logs of both sides, we get rt is lin 2, so t is lin 2 over r, and lin 2 is approximately 70. Hence the rule of 70, the time taken for something to go to 2 is 70 divided by r. You can work this out nice quite quickly. If you said, well, what happens if this number here was 3? Well, then we just go lin of 3, but lin of 3 is obviously not 70. You want to know how long does it take for something to increase by 50%? Instead of 3, this would be 1.5, and, and this would be 1.5. If it's not continuously compounded, well, then your equation would just be t is equal to lin 2 over lin 1 plus r. Right? Anyway, as I said, don't worry about the maths. I'm just showing you that it's not some kind of, you know, weird, unexplainable rule. It's just a math. Which is to say, the time taking the sum to double is 70 divided by the rate of change. So how would that be useful? Well, the way that I would use it is something like, I buy some milk in the shop and it costs me whatever, four rand, okay? Then I get married and I don't buy stuff for a long time. I go back into the shop and now it's 10 rand. I'm just like, well, let, let's make it eight rand because that'll be easier. I go, what the, eight rand, that, that's insane. It was four rand the last time I was here. So then if I go, okay, my rate of change, I'm interested to know what was my rate of change over some period of time. So it went from, 4 to 8, so that's doubled. Okay? So I can use my rule of 70 and say, let's say that this was over a period of 2 years. If I take 70 and I divide it by, uh, sorry, the, so 2, the time taken for something to double, I'm talking about 2 years, is equal to 70 divided by what? Be 35. What that means is that I've had a rate of inflation of 35% a year if it goes from 4 to 8 in 2 years. 